From the moment that Sydney and I first saw Jane, we could see that she was a basket case of bumps and bruises and that a lot of work was going to be needed in order to make her whole again. Of course, it's all the work that needs to be done in an old Jeep like her that makes it so much fun. And in this episode, you'll get to see some of the problem spots we found, as well as some of the repairs we started to make. Time to get started. As you can see here, we started taking down the rocker panels with a sander because we could tell that there was some Bondo action going on. We weren't exactly sure what, what had happened or why. But uh, right here you can see there's actually a sizable hole. So we're going to continue to knock this Bondo off, see if there's any other damage and clear all this out. We're not overly concerned with the cosmetic features of this panel here because we're going to put a rocker guard over it. But we still want to patch it up enough so that the rust doesn't continue to grow and be a problem for us. Working on the back end of the CJ5, you could see that it had actually been either rear-ended or backed into something hard enough to do some damage to the tail. It doesn't have a tail gate, it's all one piece back here. And you could see it totally tore the support bracket that's on here. through and I welded it up just to give it a little bit more strength again I kind of have to flatten it out with a sander because otherwise the bracket wouldn't fit right now you can see this thing is really solid I should have taken some footage earlier to show you what it was like when the cracks were still in these cross braces here this whole thing would buckle in and out just by moving it around by hand now it's pretty much solid I'm gonna come back through now and reinforce it with additional uh, bar stock and hopefully that should take care of things there was no way to get behind the support bar running across Jane's tail, I decided to use a stud welder and a slide hammer to pull some of the dents and help straighten things out. be sanding everything down to bare metal, I was eager to see if my efforts made any difference and so I threw on some body filler, sanded it down and hit it up with a bit of primer just to see how things were coming along. Okay, so some of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to take off the uh, existing roll cage that's here. This is actually the original sport bar or sport cage that came with it. And the previous owner or one of the previous owners installed their own full cage, which is really kind of a Mickey Mouse job. You can see how bad the welds are. And then of course, the way they mounted it to the tub, the floor itself, it's not going to the frame, just to the tub. And it wasn't done real well. There's some cracks in the tub now. And over here, um, maybe unrelated to the roll cage, but there must have been some kind of a previous rock guard set up that uh, kind of tore out the floor. So we're gonna have to try to patch all this ahead of time too. So we're gonna take this off, cut this off completely. And if we decide to make a full cage again, uh, we'll probably install something like a rock guard cage.
just got the roll cage off and as you can see there had been some critters who were living in between the body and the cage itself. Left some droppings behind. We took out both the driver and passenger side seats so we could examine the floors a little bit better. And as you can see, there was some damage going on here. This is where the old uh, roll cage was bolted to the floor. We're gonna clean that up. It's not too bad, but the whole floor pan itself got pushed down. The pan physically separated from the body. It's moving in and out. What we're gonna need to do is try to clean up the paint here as best we can on the floor pan and on the tub. And then we're going to come in from underneath with the jack, push it up, and then try to weld back on it at least a little bit, add a few stitches on there to hold it in place. Unlike most Jeeps as old as Jane, her floor pans were in surprisingly good condition and were for the most part free of rust. However, we did find a few cracks in them and being that the metal was so thin, stitching them up would take a bit of patience. Thanks for watching our show. As you can see, we have a lot of work ahead of us, but we hope that you'll join us again as we continue to breathe new life into some old iron and try to make some sense of the calamity that is all Jane.